But uh, it's Naples and south of Naples are just some of the most beautiful coastlines you can imagine um, in in the world. And the people there are are just so wonderful. It's actually going to be harder and harder to speak uh, English the further down the boot we go, which is which is kind of exciting um, if you have a, a real sense of adventure. So we'll be clustering around you and, and, and our guide, Natalia. Our guide, Natalia, who we should, we should really promote her. She has been our guide for the last two years. Uh, what, what, what can we say about Natalia? I mean, She's, well, she learned the term herding cats for, <laughs> for dealing with American tourists. Right. Herding cats. She is, <laughs> she is insanely good. She's, oh, yeah. she's bright. She speaks well. She really knows the towns inside and out. Rome is her hometown, by the way. Right. Which and is seeing be great. her in Rome. I saw, we saw Natalia one morning when we were, uh, leaving our first tour and some guy came blowing through the town in a Maserati trying to run us down. And she ran out in the street and pounded on his hood and gave him this. <laughs> so I want to see yeah. in her in her in her native hometown of Rome. But. She, she's, yeah. I mean, I remember when we got to Paisero, we got there a little late and we had to get to the opera house to get tickets. And the and the hotel had bicycles. And she's like, Anthony, get, out, get, up, get on a bicycle. You and I, we're going to the... And we got on these bikes and we're on bicycles going down this bicycle lane where people are coming back and forth. It's terrifying. And she's just riding like a madman going through the middle of town. I thought, I thought we are, this is how I'm going to die. I'm going to go down <laughs> in Pesaro with this crazy woman trying to get these, these tickets. But it, you know, we got there right before they, they, um, they, they closed the box office. They were super sweet. She is just always on top of everything. She thinks of everything way before you even you even uh, knew it was going to be a problem. She has solutions uh, coming out the wazoo. She's just such a, a wonderful, prepared person. And she's also really fun and funny. She's fun. Yeah. She has a great sense of humor. She, great sense yeah. of humor, yeah. Every, and, everybody loved her. And beautiful doesn't doesn't hurt either. No, she is, yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's a looker for sure. There's so much to these tours. Uh, all the lunches that we have together. That's yeah. another thing we should say. We go, we'll go into restaurants and oh they my will God. sort of close this place down yeah. and we get specialties of the house that nobody else gets. Yeah. The, the tour guides we have for the museum. We're going to go to the uh, private tour of the Vatican right. Museum. Oh, gosh, We're yeah. going to go to Herculaneum. And these are all like historians. Some of the guides... The guys have are families so that smart. go back generations. Yeah, yeah. The guides, and I think Natalia and, and um, Matthew pick, uh, pick the guides. They're so knowledgeable. They're so smart. They're not reading off of something. You know, they 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 have this knowledge inside and out. And each one is from the city where you know they're giving the tour, and they have such a breadth of knowledge that it's it's just it's just fascinating. I, mean, you, I could go to a different one every day, and and. You know, and I'm sure Natalia, even in Rome, I don't think she's going to give it. I think she'll have a Rome guide. She'll probably learn something too. She gets some time off from the she gets some time the cats. Off, yeah. 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 Um, so we depart May 28th. Yes. We should also say that uh, one of the most fun things for me now has not not only the pre concert discussions because oh, you and I talk I about the opera, yeah. the post concert, the post talks. concert, yes, the powwow, the well, what did you think of this? And everyone's kind of you know, it's so exciting because after. After the opera, you know, usually you think people want to go to bed and it's late, but these people are, they're wired, you know, mm -hmm. they want to talk about it. They want to know my, what I think about it. They want to know what you think about it. They want to tell you what they think about it. And we have, they we start had really, a little shy. A little, and but then, boy, yeah. then it opens up. It uh -huh. really does. The floodgates open up and people, you know, they become really opinionated and it, and it becomes, you know, you see how opera at its best is really a, a full contact sport with, with the audience getting involved and people liking or people hating or this and that. I mean, we had such strong opinions about so much from everything from the singing to the staging and, you know, all the elements of, of the opera and it, and, you know, someone, I didn't like that singer. Well, I like that singer, you know, and it's, it's really exciting. And that's, that's how opera is, you know, always was. And it's not supposed to be this kind of polite you kind of go and then you you leave and you you know it's supposed to it's supposed to stir you up and you never know what's going to stir you up. no <laughs> some people love the costumes some yeah. people love some people their, hate the costumes uh -huh. yeah it's it's really it's really fascinating and i have to say nobody came on both times nobody came away from saying oh yeah I, I wish i hadn't i mean people were just were just loving it saying this was was amazing this has been the best trip of my life this has been the best opera i've ever seen um you, you know everybody really really enjoyed it and food, oh. unbelievable food, yes. great wine. Uh, I could drink cappuccinos and espressos uh, every day. We, when we go around, we go on a private tour bus because there's yep. only about 30 or so of us. So we're yep. all on the bus together. Yeah. We stay in four-star hotels. Yeah. 
it's a it, it, we do bond. It's a, a really, really yeah. amazing experience. We and also you, look out for each other. You know, when mm-hmm. someone gets lost, and we go, okay, remember you and I stayed afterwards for a little bit to, <laughs> to yeah, find right. the woman. That is, we did. We <laughs> had somebody wander off, and yeah, everybody and, went to the bus, and we sort of and then we got her. Uh, but yeah, everyone just kind of keeps keeps tabs on everybody, and it's uh, it's a real nice feeling. And and, and the nice people stay in touch afterwards. Too, yeah, like, you make friends that you, yeah. you keep the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, man, I can't wait. I can't wait either.